Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about the DSA. Actually, I have already uploaded the PF and the OOPS videos. Uh, I hope you actually watched it. Now we are going to discuss DSA, the concepts and the topics and what you should actually, you know, focus and uh, what are the kind of topics and sorry, the questions that is actually going to ask in your exam. So let us begin. I'm going to discuss about the syllabus, which is obviously the intro. Then we'll come to see the arrays the insertion deletion everything of arrays then we can uh, actually look around the ring list the which is actually the data structure of different things linear and non-linear array link list stack q tree and graph these are all the data structures mainly we are going to discuss in java but in uh, in our course which is uh, they will only consist of array link list stack and queue there will be no tree and graph okay so for arrays uh, we will discuss the insertion and deletion in the course and for link list the creation adding the element in the end in the beginning and the middle of the link list and again you know showing displaying the link list then searching in the uh, one element in the link list then deleting the element from the end beginning and the middle of the link list these all things we will discuss in the link list now we can you know actually the stars of the day which is stack and queue See, why if there is only stack and queue, then why you need array and link list? It is like for implementing the stack and queue, array or link list is needed. That's why we are actually studying about array and link list in depth. Okay, that is mandatory. If you don't know what is a link list and what are the concepts, uh, you will not understand. Because in the question itself, the, I will also discuss a pattern of the question. But still, the stack list is actually implemented. And a lot of methods is actually, you know, from uh, link list and array. So if you are not familiar with the concepts of array and link list and, you know, the structure, everything, you can't even, you can't able to solve uh, stack and queue, you know, in a, easy smooth way that's why i'm saying you have to actually go through it now we are talking about the stack we have array implementation stack obviously i said uh, the array implementation and linguist implementation will be there in the stack we have certain methods like push display pop these all things and the stack diagram class diagram will be also given in the course you can actually check it out once you're in the training and you know getting in the things and now we have q q means uh, q then also the intro of q will be there the array implementation of q we'll see and the operations of q is also nq dq and display nq means, means actually insertion and dq means deletion in the stack case push means you know uh, pushing the element to the stack popping means deleting the element from the stack uh, we'll discuss about the collection framework uh, the collection interface and everything there you will see the array list and all the methods of the array list and link list and the methods then the set interface and hash map such thing my suggestion to you guys up to my batch in my batch the first and second and third attempt exam they didn't ask anything from array list but it doesn't mean like it, it will be same for you guys also what if they will change the pattern of the question for you guys so it's it's like you have to actually listen everything from the educator and take that words as primary and so uh, up to March or you can say up to May these are all the things that is actually asked and after that maybe there's a chance that they'll change the syllabus you have to actually go through these all things from the educator purpose plus you know ask your seniors also senior means your previous batch the uh, uh, the batch just came before you please you know cross check with them also and then only you know uh, study these things but in my, my case but I would say up to my uh, third attempt only stack and queue is asked in the question. Oh, I hope it will be same for you guys also. It's very easy to score stack and queue. It's very, because it's very easy to score stack and queue. If, uh, I mean, the questions in DSA and, you know, tackling the stack and queue. If you know the PF and, you know, the concepts of the stack and queue. That's it. And the things that I'm going to mention, it will come under your objective part. The algorithm, about the algorithm, intro of algorithm, you know, analyzing algorithm, time, space, complexities, you know, searching algorithms, sorting algorithms, you know, different algorithm techniques like brute force, divide and conquer. These all things will be in your course. You will study in depth, but still, uh, it will be in the objective and please, you know, take care of your things. Please take care of your objective as well as because at the, at, at the worst case, what if your questions in DSA and OOPS, you can say PF, everything went, you know, in a tough or you can say confusing level and your PF and your objective will be very easy and you will be not able to score it also. It will be very hard, right? So in that way, uh, in that case, you must, you know, focus on your objective also. See, that's actually your backup plan to clear the exam. 
and now we are going to discuss about the question sample or you can say sample question uh, first most the stack has will be implemented in your exam so you don't have to you know actually write the stack from the scratch it will be already implemented which means the stack class will have certain methods like the push and the pop methods the nq that uh, sorry in, for q it will be nq and dq for stack they will al already mention the stack is full uh, the is full is actually to checking the stack is full or not is empty you know pop push that display everything it will be already implemented you just need to use the things and the q class is also implemented with all these methods and there is a main method or you can say the tester class this thing actually we discussed in the oops also there will be a tester class please do not change this do not change this structural error will be there and you will be not able to score full marks this is actually the exam will be of 15 marks right the aim is actually scoring 50 out of 50 in the exam and if you follow these things you will definitely gonna score that thing and now the question pattern will be like this the real package is given you can see stack.java q.java tested.java and the question this is actually we are focusing here only the question to java read your code here which means here means there will be a method like we have discussed in the oops and the pf there will be a method you have you can actually you know write your code there it will be there will be some methods already implemented list like if is fully smt push pop nq dq so you just need to use it in the question dot java so in your method you can use the methods uh, mentioned here there is a tip point which is draw your data structure see in the question sometimes they will ask you 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 have to you know uh, show your you have the output must be in the reverse order in that case you can use the data structure as stack okay see the question will be like they will only mention the thing about data structure you have to use appropriate data structure which will give you the reverse order then at that time your appropriate data structure will be stack and in some cases the same order will be queue these things must you know keep it in your mind this thing this thing you will come come across in your lectures also the teachers i mean the trainers definitely will share these things also in the reverse order means stack same order means queue and the one more thing is you have to actually draw draw the things you know the one important point is actually draw your data structure see just imagine there's a stack here i wanted to reverse the numbers which means i wanted 4 3 2 1 so for reversing the things i need q because you just imagine that's actually the functionality of the stack and queue here i am in from the stack i'm just you know popping everything popping means you know taking out all the elements in the stack stack it is actually only one end that you can insert and the delete so if you're deleting from one end which in the reverse order here if you delete it from in the queue this is actually the front part of the queue this is actually the rear part of the queue okay four will be the first three will be second two will be third and one will be the fourth so this will be the output and if you want the elements in the same order like one two three Three, four, you can actually use another stack. See, if you you know popping out the four, it will be the last, the first most thing. It's not the first the last, it's the first most thing here. And if you popping three, and if you popping two will be there. If you popping one, it will and then you can actually popping these things also out. See, one will be out, two will be out, three will be out, and you can say four will be out. This and these are all the sample questions that you can refer while after learning the stack and queue concept and you know if you want some questions for practice you can learn i mean you can uh, refer these things but uh, the questions that is displaying now which is in the black screen uh, some questions will be easy and some will be tough so I, I will not you know recommend you to solve everything but some things you can solve it and here comes the actual thing uh, the following questions that is you know displaying right now the one to eight questions there will be eight questions here you have to solve everything you know by yourself this will be very 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 important and by solving this multiple times only you know your concept will be clear and here actually i am displaying the sample of the question this is actually the answer for the eighth question that is you know previously shown and uh, here we you will have a main class you don't need to change the main class uh, let it be there only uh, please, if you change anything you know a single word or you can say a single space the structure will be there so please don't you know touch the main class it will be there only and here comes the actual part where you have to actually write your uh, the solution you can see the logic of the question so uh, we can see that there is a single in common ha uh, double slash two trainees after, after that you can say under the under that line you can actually write the logic here i have used uh, methods called uh, dot is empty 
which is actually you know a part of the stack or you can say the queue implementation it is already pre given in your exam i can't show you it because um, it's actually you know i have taken the same uh, code from the lex to sol at the time when i was doing the thing that's why i can't show you the code but still it will be in the exam you can actually refer once you are in the training and stuff so the thing is you don't have to worry about you know uh, writing everything from the scratch everything will be given you just need to focus on the concepts that's all and that's all for this video and i hope you like it if you do then please give a like and share to share to your friends and you know please subscribe to the channel and take care bye bye